Okay, welcome back guys. To continue from where we left off, we see that the npm install command completed successfully without any errors, and that is great. But now that we have all the files gathered, uh, we have all the necessary files gathered for our Angular application, let's go ahead and understand what each of these files are and what they do. Now I'm going to explain each of them in a sentence or two only because if we dive into the details of it it might be a bit overwhelming to understand especially at the beginning of this video series so if you are really that interested in learning more about them I recommend that once you are through with this video series go to the angular documentation and learn about them okay so the first file is the package.json file now generally our Angular applications require certain libraries or modules for their functioning. Now these are specified in the package.json file. So whenever you run npm install in the command prompt, all the dependencies listed here are installed in our application folder and the node underscore modules folder to be more precise. So when you run npm install, this particular folder right here is going to be installed. Now we are also going to be discussing about the scripts but before that I need to mention that for our Angular applications we are going to be using TypeScript. Now, there's no need to panic. TypeScript is just JavaScript plus some additional features. So TypeScript is a superset, a superset of JavaScript. So we are going to be learning those additional features along the video series. So if you're comfortable with JavaScript, then that is more than enough. So coming back to the scripts over here. So if I hover over the start uh, word over here, it says run by the npm start command. So when you type npm start in the command prompt, it is going to start the TypeScript compiler since we are writing TypeScript code. And it is also going to run Lite or the Lite server, which is going to host our application. So we are also going to be starting the TypeScript compiler in watch mode, meaning to say that any change in the code is going to be automatically compiled and then the browser is going to be refreshed. Then we have the post install over here, meaning to say once we are done with installing the dependencies, <coughs> excuse me, install the typings.json file. So if you go back to, I mean, if you go to typings.json, uh, it is going to say that install these list of dependencies once you install a package.json. Why do we need these? So our application might use JavaScript libraries that the TypeScript compiler can't recognize. So we make the TypeScript aware of the libraries we are loading so that there is no error that is shown when we are building the application. All right, the next one is the tsconfig.json. So this contains the configurations to guide the TypeScript compiler for generating JavaScript files. Now why JavaScript? I thought we were going to write TypeScript code. You might be wondering that, but our browsers can understand only JavaScript. So whenever we write the TypeScript code, it has to be converted to the JavaScript code. And the tsconfig contains some of the configuration for that. Next we have the systemjs.config, <coughs> excuse me. Now this deals with loading of the modules and the default file extensions. So we have, we have our modules listed here and we say that if there is, uh, let's say for the app package, the main file would be main.js and then the default extension, if not specified, is going to be JavaScript. Then we have the style.css, which is nothing but the style for our HTML. And then we have our index.html. Now this can be broken down into three parts. The first part is loading the libraries. So all the, all the JavaScript libraries are going to be loaded over here. And then the second part is the configure system.js, the system.js. So if you see here, system.import app is there, which we go here, it says app, it is going to load the main file. So that is kind of like the entry point for our application and that is going to be started over here. 
and then finally we have display the application where we have the view for our application which we are going to be seeing in our browsers <clears throat> and then finally which brings us to our app folder right the first thing is the main.ts file now this is where our application is going to start from so you have a main.ts and a main.js now there are .js files in this app folder but ignore them because these are the files that are generated by the TypeScript compiler so we are never going to mess with the JavaScript files all our code is going to go within the TypeScript files which also brings us to app.component.ts so again this is our component or the root component that we earlier learned in the architecture so this is the first component and just a quick um, explanation because we are going to be learning about components in detail if you see that selector it says my app so if you go to index.html it says my app over here so what it means is that whenever you find my app tag in the HTML replace it with this HTML code so hello world and again you have um, a corresponding JS file for that which is going to be understood by the by the browser and then a map pings a map a map file which is going to map between the JavaScript and the TypeScript files so now if we go ahead and type npm start in our command prompt or git then it is going to start our application let's just give it a few seconds okay okay yeah it's going to start the typescript compiler it's going to start the light server compilation changes are complete and there we go it says loading um, okay there is some problem okay yeah so that actually took quite a bit of time to load so we have hello world displayed in our browser so that's pretty much it about what each of these files in the directory structure do in the next video let us understand how to how did this hello world actually happen what was the flow of execution and yeah i know i'm pretty sure some of you might thinking there's a lot of explanation over here when are we actually going to have some hands-on coding but trust me this patience and understanding these initial concepts is going to help you in the long run so thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next video